Perfect. everybody and welcome back to another episode of Reaction Therapy. I'm your resident psychotherapist Tom Stevens here to break down lyrics to some awesome music and today an artist we've never reacted to before. Joji is our artist today. Glimpse of Us is the name of the song and I cannot wait to see. Always cool to see new artists we hadn't reacted to before. Remember our mission is to spread mental health awareness to the world through music and lyrics, and that's what we're going to try to do today. As a mental health professional, I love hearing different kinds of music and genre to see what we can get out of it. Check the links in the description of this video to check out our Patreon page. There's more content over there. And we have memberships, subscriptions now on YouTube that give you priority access. So get check it out. Hit the join button when you get a chance and see what's over there. So without further ado... Let's get into this. You and me for the first time. Joji, Glimpse of Us. <laughs> He's got the ramen noodles. He's got the old school camcorder going, face covered. Pack of cigs is empty. It's like a home movie going here. I don't even know what kind of music this is, but it's like a little movie. She take the world off my shoulders. Yeah. If it was ever to move. Wow. Almost a little operatic there with the music, but look at this cans of beer. Looks like on the ground, there's a dang rabbit in the bed with no sheets. Guy laying on the bed, they're throwing cans at each other, clothes everywhere. Woo, okay. I think something's about to happen. Is that another animal? If it yep. was ever to move, she turned the rain to a rainbow when I was living in the blue. Why then if she's so perfect Whoa, and they're even doing tattoos on the side of their body there in this place. Like this is a real story of real people. Why then if she's so perfect? Perfect don't mean that it's working. So what can I do? Yeah, I'm distracted by all the different animals in this house. But perfect don't mean that it's working. Just because they're, they're perfect or even a couple of perfect people doesn't mean it's going to be perfect. And a lot of these people's faces are covered. I wonder because they don't want to be on the video and all the stuff they got going on in here, fighting with each other. You got deer in here, rabbits, like a zoo in this place. This is really really bizarre and aren't are those cans like those bottles of stuff all for using drugs and stuff like they've got gloves on masks on don't want to be seen I wish that it was you. perfect don't mean that it's working so what can i do when you're out outside Watch out. Look in her eyes, and that's where I find a glimpse of us. This is like a romantic relationship song. When I look in her eyes and I find a glimpse of us, like I see in her eyes. A glimpse of us, the two of us being together. And so sweet the way that that's said with such violent <laughs> video that's going on where they're lighting on fireworks and stuff, running around, racing all over town, covering their face, not being seen. I don't even know who these people are. But I thought Joji was like one person singing this song. I don't know if they're videoing other people that are just in the city somewhere, but... Look at him riding in these cars. Oh, 
tried to fall for a touch, but I'm thinking of the way. This is two completely different things when you hear this song versus seeing this video. Like you got broken teeth. It's like they're, I don't know, pulling teeth out or had teeth punched in because of a fight. And I thought it said, I'm passing time in her arms. You know, just being here in her, here in her arms and passing time. And it's so sad when you hear these words. <laughs> I know this sounds terrible, probably coming from me as a mental health professional, but I'm trying to figure out. I was hoping he wasn't shooting the finger at this these sweet kids that were walking by. Like that would not be a healthy thing whatsoever. But what their purpose is for what they're doing? Are they just wandering the streets and they're just kind of living on their own? And and this is testament to, you know, all people grow up as children at some point. All children are innocent. Children aren't born into this world evil at all. They're not born into this world manipulative. They learn through the experience they have in the world. And especially when they're abandoned, abused, and neglected, especially abandoned, they are, and abused, they are many times cast out or they go out into the world, live on their own because they figure it's better and safer than what they were living in before. And then they end up just trying to be in survival mode. And that's what this whole group of people look like. They're just in survival mode, kind of going about living day by day maybe having to steal, maybe having to deal, maybe having to, you know, just do whatever to survive. And you're seeing the results of it here. It's really sad to me. Tell me, say this your glory. Does he laugh the way I do? Good. A part of your story, one that I had never lived. Boy, just this back and forth battling. There was a, an argument with the guy and his girlfriend, it looked like, or something. And the song, it's just to me, it's talking about a struggle of a relationship that can't make it, that's not functional, or that's toxic, or that just can't seem to find its rhythm. But in his voice to me, sounds like, and maybe I'm overanalyzing this. I don't know. It's a mental health professional. That's what I do. Professional. That's what I do. But a guy who really wants to have the relationship but just can't have it. It's just out of arm's length. He just can't quite grab it. And then all these people fighting. One that I had never lived. Maybe one day. Oh, wow. I love reading these because they always have to be telling with something. You're right. It isn't. I wish things were how they used to be. Why am I doing this to myself for real? I don't know. Just saying I miss you. Mind, mind. Cause sometimes I look in your eyes and that's where I find a glimpse of us. You hear that and you think sometimes I look in her eyes and I find a glimpse of us. Always reminiscing back to that and thinking of that. But the man, the video is just showing so much crazy living, like no responsibility, no maturity, no character building it's just kind of whatever you want to do whenever to whoever however it's no wonder you wouldn't be able to find a functional relationship like that because you can't settle down have balance keeping you stable in a regular lifestyle but maybe that's the point of the video is to show how destructive things can get because sometimes i look in your eyes and that's where i find a glimpse of us Turn that thing off. I try to 
Said I'm fine, I'll move on. I'm only here passing time in her arms. It's like it's temporary. That's that out of reach. It's just, I'm fine, I'll be here a little bit, and then I'll be gone. And it's very sad. It's depressing. And I'm not doing too well with it, but it's the way it is. And the voice, his voice is amazing. I love this voice, the way he's singing. I think if I was listening to this song, not seeing the video at all, I would literally just be like, wow. It's a love story. This guy is talking about missing somebody, reminiscing, thinking about the past, remembering, and being sad for what can't actually come to fruition. Maybe there aren't girlfriends, they're just people they're filming. And yeah, this shows a lot of conflict, you know? And I think that's probably part of the purpose of all the conflict there is in life and how much fighting and destructive and toxic living that goes on. You might say you're fine, you'll move on, but that is actually not really true. It's not. Our experiences log in right there, stay in our brain, and they create core memories, and a lot of them destructive. And these are just, these are people I, I would almost 100% uh, say that they have been through a lot of trauma, abuse, neglect in their lives. And the only way they know how to act it out is on other people and on each other and to be able to kind of self-destruct. And sometimes when we, we grow up with abuse and neglect and trauma, we act that out on ourselves because that's what we think we deserve and that's what's normal to us. And it's not normal, but it's the only way they know how to do it. And so until they get help and realize it's another way to live, they'll just keep repeating that cycle. All that chaos and destruction and, and crashing and fighting and everything. And then the end here is coming in with this subtle, there's a tear and everything's quiet in the house and the outside. And you hear this simplicity at the end. glimpse of us completely unexpected there i had no idea what was coming and literally could never have predicted that especially that song matched with that video and the sadness that i heard in his voice and the lyrics of to me missing hoping and realizing i just can't have it and I'm just going to have to live with that the rest of my life. And how sad that is because so many people live that way. And you don't have to live that way. You can actually go find health by getting good mental health. Remember, this isn't real lyrics. This isn't in real lyrics. This isn't real therapy. Just Tom breaking down music and lyrics. Please check the link in the description of this video if you want professional help because there are resources there. You deserve help. Help will help. Good help will. If you get bad help sometimes, not so much. But if you can keep looking for help, I promise you, you can end up getting to a place where you see life differently. And these people in this video seem like they had a really destructive life that could turn around if they wanted to, but sometimes there's just no turning back. 
Thanks so much for being here. Give me your comments. Who knows Joji and the history here and who he is and what this music's about, what this song's about. Let me know. Give me feedback. I can't wait to hear it. Thanks for being a part of Reaction Therapy, for supporting us every day, for encouraging us every day, and for allowing us to continue to do this. Nick and I are grateful to you for that. And so thankful that you'd be a part of this all this time with the growth and the family-oriented nature that we have. Check the Patreon page we have with more content over there and memberships now on YouTube. Also, podcast coming out every week. Check that out. It is alive and going well. Can't wait to see you on the next Reaction Therapy.